guys when i say justin dean is following cora as in nyash nyash everywhere he hear ko before you finish the ra he is already there guys in her page in her sister's page in blogger's page justin dean is there like seriously guys the video you see right now guys playing is the video that was posted by african glaze tv and guess who was there mr cora obidi aka justin dean hey <laughs> guys like seriously but guess what he received water water for comment session because this video was posted and i said guess who was there yes he was there he went there and posted as in he had to drop comments in the comment section of this video but guys trust what followed like seriously the people are not smiling Cora's fans are diehard fam fans and they will never relent to give it to whomever that tries to say or do things against her guys in this video Cora had the posted a video where she was like she is afraid to post a video that had to do with her and her kid on mother's day and mr cora obidi went and got a clip from that video remember i said he's watching her every move you know so that he can monitor and calculate her money he, he caught a clip and played it in his page and said it's a lie that uh, he would have allowed her to see their children on mother's day nancy ume came out and said all oh, that's a lie that um, he never allows her call or talk to the kids whenever they are with him guys african glitz posted this video and guess who was there like i said mr cora obidi aka justin thing was at the comment section and guys guess what he said he said more nonsense from the obidi sister please i did like to take credit for global warming like seriously guys this is what he said at the comment section and here are the reply like seriously they give him woto woto for comment section they say god that we punish you for all your evil act is close to you you will suffer and beg cora when Cora comes to your doorstep they said guys my honest opinion and advice for you is that you really need to book appointments for a mental health check because I see you going through depression and anxiety get help before it's too late because the girls still need their daddy they said you are just a failed doctor I wonder how you have time to be dragging a woman that gives you two beautiful kids every day that's why your girlfriend them can't be with you don't you notice that nobody wants to date you anymore you are just pained and bitter watching all her move and action move on you have lost her forever get a life please guys they continue by saying oh god rest now in your country all the divorced couples is that how their ex monitor them monitoring spirits if she achieves success is for the security of the children they said that is what happened if you bite the hand that failed you you made a big mistake so accept and move on life leave cora alone they continue by saying you guys should leave all this saga for the sake of your children and both should move on or reconcile guys like seriously the one that they now is it reconciliation or move on the move on no let them move on now. especially the man he don't want to move on because if he actually stop this talking then there will be peace if he's always coming out to say things about her going to her page watch her every move even if you are not her if any blogger should post that he goes there to watch and pick one or two from there and come out to say one or two like seriously guys he is actually not resting in anything that had to do with cora it's like he's having sleepless nights 
that Korah is actually doing well. He said the amount of hurt he has for her. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts to do some kind of things that are inappropriate just to hurt her to the children. Guys, they said he is just a liar. He won't give her her children. He doesn't care if it's on Mother's Day. And that's true, guys. He doesn't care if it's on Mother's Day. Just that he will always want to come and reply to whatever is being said in order for people not to see him as the bad one. He's always there to watch whatever they say or do so he will come and reply them. Like seriously, guys, this is really getting out of hand because the fact that the more he speaks, the more he's as if he's bittered, is getting too much. They say the wickedness that he's portraying is becoming too much. Guys, Nasi Ume says something about Mr. Kora Obidi, aka Justin Dean, paying bloggers to say things that are not right against Kora and that there is evidence. In all these guys, what do you think about the fact that he's always in the comment section of um, people? He's always he always follow up what people are saying about him. He's always paying bloggers and groups of people to tarnish Cora's image or to tarnish her reputation. What does he stand to gain in all this? Is this not more than the wickedness that he's portraying? Like seriously. If he continues like this, that means this drama will not end soon. The fact that other persons get divorced and they co-parent in peace, we never hear all this saga. This saga is becoming too much. And him going to African Greece comment section to drop what he dropped gave many people room to start giving him woto woto. Like seriously, he collects not be small. So guys. Like seriously, when is this going to stop? How is Cora going to cope with such? Because it's becoming too much. And they said the obsession is becoming too much. A lot of persons are saying he's depressed. A lot of persons are saying he has issue. Like seriously, how do we get help? Is there a way that, okay, there are some persons that can intervene on to let, like, let him know that he needs help. He needs somebody to talk to, a therapist that will really help him. To get better and get over Kora because he has not gotten over him. If he really loved her this much, he wouldn't have just come out to like say he's divorcing her. And from the look of things, it's now love and hate because he is really pain that they divorced. And at the same time, he's pain. He is he, like he's angry. He can't get over her. And at the same time, he's pain. And at the same time, it's pain that she is making a whole lot out of her talent, out of the dancing, out of her singing. Apart from the, because he feels that she's making money out of the children by posting them. And at the same time, he's saying it's out of security purpose. But guys, that is not actually it. It's about the money. He forgot that Cora is actually a content creator, that she's creating content and making money out of her content. So he's paying with all this. That's why he keeps talking her and want to know what people are saying about her. Cora has a lot of fans that follows her. Can he really beat it? Can he really fight them? Thank you beautiful people for watching. I do appreciate you. My returning subscribers, old subscribers, new subscribers and even you coming across the channel for the very first time. God bless you real good. Please like and share. Kindly click on subscribe button if you have not subscribed before. And I'll catch you in my next one.